Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at the Xilinx Developer Forum, and I'm here with Francisco Weber from Cortical IO. Francisco, let, let's start at the beginning. Uh, who is Cortical IO and who do you help? So we are a company located in uh, Vienna, Austria. So we come over from Europe uh, and uh, we work uh, in the domain of natural language understanding. Uh, we have developed uh, a very uh, new way of uh, understanding text and, and language data and we do this based on neuroscience uh, in contrast of uh, traditionally using statistics. And it has a certain number of advantages uh, by doing it like the brain does it. Okay, so the way I understand it, this doesn't really use something like machine learning, it's an alternative. Uh, exactly. uh, why, why is it a better approach? So I, I used to call it, uh, we are not uh, 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 training our models, we are teaching our models. So it's a sort of a machine learning. Uh, but we do actually use, very similar to humans, we use reference information. We use textbooks about the topic uh, to learn about the topic. And once we have ingested that textbook uh, uh, previously, we can then interpret uh, every information in that domain uh, generically, very much the same as humans would do this. Well, can you show us how it works? Yeah, definitely. So uh, what you see here is, uh, the, the one thing I want to show first is our technology is based on what we call semantic fingerprints. So we actually convert any piece of text. So here, for example, the word organ uh, is converted into a semantic fingerprint. And that semantic fingerprint, I just enlarge it, has the property that all the different meanings that you might uh, associate with the word organ, for example, uh, appear here in this uh, topic uh, uh, representation of a fingerprint. So here uh, we have, for example, the context of melodies and list uh, and other composers uh, related uh, to organs. Uh, or uh, over here we might have um, um, other uh, aspects that relate to the biological um, uh, sort of uh, meaning of, of the word organ. Um, and what we basically do is that we can now compare two pieces of text by literally comparing those fingerprints in a very simple way. And that's where possibly you can already guess that uh, comparing bits is something that uh, our silence chips uh, are pretty good in doing. That's uh, why it's so uh, suited to actually do this. Um, we can do then things, for example, like compare uh, two pieces of text so I have here uh, in the first window, for example, a piece of text that I got from the Wikipedia page about Socrates. Um, and in the second text, I will just put a piece of text about Plato. Uh, but this time, uh, I will actually take it in German. Just to show you the fact, I copy this and I paste it over here. And it now compares an, a piece of English text from Wikipedia about Socrates with a piece of German text uh, about Plato. Um, and I submit. And we will now see here uh, the comparison that we have uh, between uh, the two texts. So on the left side we have uh, the fingerprint for Plato. And here in the middle we can see all the areas of overlap that we have between the two. And uh, based on that functionality, we have um, actually created a search engine. This one uh, we can see over there. So here uh, I can again, because I used the example, I used the word organ as a starting point uh, for our search. And what it now does is it decomposes the word organ in the different potential meanings, which would be related to uh, muscle or biological concepts. It would be related to music or to churches. We mostly see organ in churches. Uh, and for each of these contexts that we have uh, uh, extracted from the fingerprint representation over here, uh, we, have the, uh, we are searching here Wikipedia uh, as such and uh, we find the uh, related uh, results that we have. So I could, for example, choose uh, the result uh, church, uh, which is uh, sort of in my, in my intention. And what I can see here is again by comparing the overlap of my query uh, with the overlap of uh, the word church. Uh, and in the middle, I see the actual overlap. And I see, of course, uh, also the other uh, contexts, how they relate to this. 
And I could now, uh, for example, dig deeper and say it's not just a church, uh, it was actually a Gothic. Uh, I'm interested in the Gothic uh, uh, architecture aspect and like that, without knowing in advance what I'm looking for, I can sort of dig deeper and I can do this uh, precisely at a very high, uh, at a very high speed. And, and the point um, of taking Xilinx chips to actually do this is that we are capable of doing this kind of searches and comparisons at a speed of several billion documents per second, which, as you can imagine, would allow for uh, quite uh, substantial applications.